Hello, and welcome to your English 1109 Library Research Series. Each section of the English 1109 course has an individual librarian assigned to it. Please contact your instructor if you're unsure about who that is or how you can contact them. This series of presentations will help you get oriented with some of the library services and resources that will be helpful for you within this class and others. Part one will cover navigating the library's homepage. Part two will help you understand and identify types of sources. Part three is an introduction to databases and evaluation. And part four provides you with helpful search tips for using the databases. To some of you, this may be new information. For others, this might be a bit of a refresher. But hopefully, at the end of the series of presentations, you will all have a better idea of some of the best resources and information available to you from the library and feel comfortable getting started with research. To start, it's important to have an idea of the research process. As you can see here, there are many components to writing a paper. You may have already gone through some of these in your class already. Topic development, finding sources, reading, evaluating, analyzing. The library comes into play throughout many phases of the research process, but within these presentations, we will be focusing on how the library can help you find sources, specifically books and articles, through the website, OneSearch, and our subject databases. Part one of the series will introduce you to the library's homepage and show you how the library can fit into the research process. We will be looking at information on accessing the library and our 24-7 chat service, understanding what OneSearch is and how you can use it, and knowing how to find and utilize your research guide. The first step to accessing library material is to navigate to the library's webpage. You can do this by locating the menu button at the top of CSUB's main web page, selecting resources from the drop down list, and then select library. The library also has a static link at the bottom of every page of the university website, so you can always scroll down and find it located there as well. Once you've made it to the library website, this is what you'll see. There's a lot of information here, hours, events, services, but for now, we're going to start with OneSearch. When using OneSearch, start with Advanced Search so that you can use your NetID and password to sign in. Signing in gives you a little more access. It recognizes that you're a CSUB student and you'll have a few more options available to you. Once you've signed in, the Advanced Search defaults to search in everything. This includes physical books, databases, even books from other CSUs, so it can be a big search. Instead, try choosing either articles or books to start. Once you make your choice, you can put in a keyword to start searching. You'll see a list of results, which include both physical books that you may need to request to pick up, or you'll also see eBooks, which are available electronically and you can access immediately. You can tell a physical book from an eBook right away because the eBook will have this term, online access, right underneath. Select an item to see a little more information about it and find out how you can access it. From here, you'll see a link to access the ebook. Or, if it's a physical book, you'll see where it's located in the library and if it's available. Scrolling down just a little more, and you'll find details about the content of the book. Or, if you chose articles at the beginning of the search, you may see the article abstract here. Let's take a quick look at searching for articles instead of books. When you select articles, you're going to notice that the result list is much larger than when searching for books. You'll want to add in a few more search terms so that your list isn't so overwhelming. In a later presentation, we'll go over how to create a detailed search statement so that you get smaller, more relevant results on the topic you're searching for. Other ways to limit and refine your search are located on the side. You can limit to just peer-reviewed journals or other resource types. You can also limit the date so that you're only finding the most recent articles on your topic. Select one of your articles and you'll see information just like the books. OneSearch reaches out into all of our databases to find articles. And so the links here will move you into the database where your article is located so that you can read it. So that's OneSearch. There's a lot more to it though, and you can find even more detailed tips about how to use it in the Using OneSearch guide located on the library's home page. 
Next on the homepage, we have 24 seven chat with the librarian. You may be wondering why you'd ever want to talk to a librarian at two in the morning. But if you're like many other college students, you may be studying late at night or have a last minute realization that you need one more article for your paper. This is where we come in. Librarians are experts in the search for information. It doesn't matter what your topic is. Librarians can quickly help you develop a search, find a good database to use, or even send you a few articles on the topic you're researching. On the side tab, select the chat pop out and enter in your question. A librarian will be with you within a few short seconds. Remember this service, especially during times that the campus may be closed. Next, let's take a look at the quick links box and find research guides. Selecting the research guides link will lead into a list of subject and courses with librarian created guides. There's even one specifically for your 1109 course. Research guides are developed by librarians and provide helpful tips for research, links to databases, tips for evaluating sources, and even citation help. If you happen to forget any of the information we discuss here, you can always get to the research guide and refresh your memory. So remember, check your guide first if you have any questions. Now it's time for you to put your skills to the test and get some practice using OneSearch. Once you've made your way back to the library webpage, check out the Using OneSearch guide to learn even more tips for finding books and articles. When you're ready, dive into OneSearch and start finding information on your research topic. Thanks for watching. Always feel free to reach out to your assigned librarian for more assistance or to schedule a one on one research consultation. Happy researching and don't forget to watch the rest of the presentations in the research series.